Good afternoon, people of the I'm All Abroad YouTube channel coming online because there is a way you can help us. Didn't realize it actually until today. Uh, well, I kind of did, but I didn't realize how much of a help it was. So I thought I would come on and encourage all of you that are either going to Japan or know somebody that is going to Japan or a friend of a friend of a friend that might be going to Japan, or if you've got social media, such as Facebook, Instagram, whatever, or if you're in Japanese groups, again, on Facebook or whatever, how you can help uh, this channel, but in particular our brand new channel, which is called Within Japan. And you know that we did a video a little while ago now about Sakura Mobile, a real review about Sakura Mobile. And uh, Ibrahim is using Sakura Mobile, and Ibrahim actually supported the channel by getting his uh, Sakura Mobile through our affiliated link, which is listed in the description below. Uh, you don't need the internet. You, well, theoretically, you don't need the internet when you're on holidays. But anyway, today, for some unknown reason, and I'm not quite sure why, and it's really happened on the other channel, the uh, Within Japan channel, a bunch of people decided to use our affiliated link, which is excellent. And it is the absolute best way you can help this channel out. And the reason why uh, you uh, helping the channel out the best way is... Um, you get what you need to get, which is what Ibrahim says. He got two pocket Wi-Fi's. He didn't get the SIM. He got the pocket Wi-Fi's. So he needed that anyway going to Japan. So he went out and, and, and got them with our affiliated link, which he would have had to pay for anyway. Um, it's cost him no more to use our affiliated link. But what it means is the channel gets a couple of bucks, which encourages me to continue with the Within Japan channel anyway, because it does go to pay some of the bills. And today... Uh, Secure Mobile has sent me countless emails, and I can tell you this is a uh, affiliated uh, website now. Um, that uh, Ibrahim, for example, he clicked on the link, and when he made his purchase, uh, the information comes through to me about what they are going to give me. So I thought I would uh, share this with you, and uh, and then you will see what a huge help it is. Um, in total, thirty-one people on the Within Japan channel. Uh, have got Secure Mobile through our affiliated link, 31 people, which is really, really good. Um, now, not all 31 of them were today. I think we've had 10 or 15 today or 10 or I don't know. We've had quite a few today. Um, and because of the people today, um, this channel or the Within Japan channel has made um, 23,500 yen, 23,500 uh, yen, which is really cool. So what that does is That's better in a way than becoming a member because membership is like a dollar and we don't really get any of that because YouTube keeps it. Um, it It's better than ad revenue because we don't make any money on re ad revenue and it's better than super chats or super thanks or even putting money in the, the little cup on the screen because we get all of that, all of that commission is ours um, by you simply just clicking on the link. That's all you got to do. Like, as I say, like if you are going to Japan anyway, or if you know somebody that's going to Japan, they're going to buy a SIM card or, in Ibrahim's case, get two pocket Wi-Fi's anyway. Um, I'm sure every traveler gets it. Well, I'm, I'm not sure. I know for a fact every traveler gets either one or the other of these things. Um, and if you do it via our affiliated link, then simply you get it at the same price, which you would have paid for anyway, but you get to support a really small insignificant YouTube channel which is pretty cool because you know financially um, it's been impossible for me, this YouTube thing. Uh, we're, we're trying the Within Japan channel. We're trying to get that going at the moment. Uh, we can't take super chats. We can't take super thanks or anything on that particular channel. So the only way you can really support us, if you would like to support us, is to go to the affiliated link and share it around. Uh, you're going to Sabuya Sky shortly. Oh my God, you're going there at night. You're at the Skytree Mall. Did you get the pizza at the Skytree Mall? If not, and I know you're in Japan, you're going, why do I want pizza? Trust me, Japanese pizzas are great. There is a, a, a fast food pizza chain in the Skytree Mall, and you get a pizza, garlic bread, drink, 
and I think you get chips potentially. I I think, and it's like, it, it costs like nothing, and you get to pick whatever pizza you want, and they make it fresh. So do check it out. So Booyah Sky in the afternoon going into the evening will be spectacular, absolutely spectacular. Um, you've got the ZV1 camera. I do hope you're going to take some pictures with it up there, Ibrahim, because it is sensational. It is the best viewing platform I have ever been to in my whole entire life anywhere on the planet, Sabuya Sky. It is insane, absolutely insane. But if you take a camera up there, it's got to be tethered around your neck, okay? Because they will make you put everything in the locker because it's a helicopter pad, so it's pretty windy up there. Make sure that you have um, um, a, a strap around your camera, around your neck. You're going shortly, uh, you have the ZV-10, of course, which is the ZV-1 with a zero on the end. In other words, uh, he's got the one with the de detachable lens, the better one, yes. So he is going to uh, he is going to become a creator, and he should do, because Sabuya Sky, and then Sabuya Scramble underneath, is, um, which is the new building, is uh, just absolutely magnificent. Absolutely, mate. Oh no, no, uh, go up. It, it's not scary up there. I'm a, I'm one for height. I'm not one for heights either. I am a big chicken when it comes to heights. Uh, it is really good, and there's so much space up there that you don't need to be near the window if you don't want to be. You can be on the helicopter pad, which is like, like, like you, like you won't feel you're up high up there, if that makes sense. Um, it, it's fine. Hello, Sammy. Um, so yeah, I've come on literally just to say about uh, the Secure Mobile. Happy to chat with people as well though, as long as it's, uh, you know, about Japan and that. And uh, really are encouraging you people to share the link, encourage people to get the SIM or the mobile Wi-Fi through our affiliated links. So all of us somewhere, I'm pretty sure, know somebody in, J in Japan or going to Japan, even if they're in Japan now, and all of a sudden they've gone, oh, we need a SIM card, they can buy it with the affiliated link. It'll be delivered to the airport or their hotel or wherever they choose like that. So they don't even have to go marching around to try find it. And you don't even need to connect it. That's a good thing about Secure Mobile. It's connected. So there's no crap to do when you get it. I'm, uh, I'm good, not going. Oh, seriously, you will be missing out. Let's talk about French fries. Okay. Let's talk about French fries. What do you have to say about French fries? I don't know. Um, while you type when you're talking about French fries, uh, again, the link is in the description of this video for Secure Mobile, or share the review video around that we did about Secure Mobile. That'd be greatly appreciated. You got my, you got your Wi-Fi at the airport. That's what I do as well. But when you went there, it was quite, really simple. Yeah, you just took your piece of paper in, or, or and, and they just gave you them, and they were connected and ready to go, and they just work, yeah? That's what I do. I think once I had it delivered to the hotel, which was kind of a cool feeling because you rock up to Japan, you get to your hotel, and there's a letter for you with your name on it with a Japanese address. And it's like, oh, I've got mail. I'm a local. Uh, chips, French fries are from Belgium. Never knew that. Just like the Spanish plague is from America. There you go, see? So just because it has a name in there, French, it doesn't mean it's French. There we go. Or Spanish. Doesn't mean it's Spanish. There we go. We're, we're learning something new. Freedom fries. Hmm. We like freedom fries, I think. So, yeah, in total, 30, 31 of you have uh, entrusted us with the Secure Mobile. And that's pretty good for a little, small, insignificant YouTube channel with not very many views. I was saying to Mockster on the channel uh, a little bit earlier... I said, our channel is so very, very small. I can tell you 372 people have gone to our affiliated link. It even tells me 372 people have gone there. It doesn't tell me who you are. It just says 372 people have gone to the link. 31 have purchased. Um, and you sort of think if you had a channel that had hundreds of thousands of subscribers or viewers or millions of viewers and that, you could just picture what their statistics would be like. I mean, we've had 31 buy a SIM card or hire a mobile Wi-Fi from us, from our affiliated link. And it's been the most beneficial thing we've ever done for this channel, ever. So um, quite, quite amazing. Uh, you must go. 
Get touring. See you later. Yes, yeah, see you later, Ibrahim. You do that. And go up Sabuya Sky. Don't be a wimp. It's beautiful up there. Absolutely stunningly beautiful. Uh, as Ibrahim's going up there, if you have not seen the secure mobile video that we did the review, I'm going to show you that now. Because by us being live, maybe somebody that isn't known to this channel might be just watching it. They might go, oh, somebody's live. Let's go have a look. So uh, I'll show you the secure mobile review that we did now, and then we will uh, come back and uh, wrap this up. That's what we'll do. Oh, no, get an envelope to return your pocket Wi-Fi. Oh, and you get an envelope to return your pocket Wi-Fi. Yes, you do. And you can post that at the airport at immigration. So you don't even need to post it before you get to the airport. You can post it as you go through immigration, which is pretty cool. Um, you get everything you need in the in the little pack uh, when you get it. Yes. So uh, when you finish your trip, just pop the pocket Wi-Fi into the envelope. When you get to immigration, you, you know, like keep using it at the airport, whatever. You know, uh, once you've done immigration, you can post it from there. And even if you do go through immigration, there's actually a post box inside uh, the departure hall that you can even post it from in there as well, if you want. Or you can theoretically post it from your home. As long as you post it back before the due date, all is fine. Anyway, we're going to show you the video. Uh, then we'll come back and uh, have a chat if anybody else comes along. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the I'm All Abroad YouTube channel. I think it's true to say, well, especially for me, that one of the biggest risks you take when you travel overseas is what telco to go with. They're all kind of hit and miss, and you can get a really good service, or you can end up paying a lot of money and getting a really bad service. <coughs> Like, call me. And today, we're going to find out what the best service to go with is when you are in Japan. So stick around. Traveling around, taking center stage, having the time of my life, and lying about my age. So jump on board with the mall abroad. So, if you've not been to my channel before, you're most probably thinking it's another YouTube guy that's done some sort of advertising deal with a company to do an advert and to say everything is fantastic just for us to go to Japan and find out that it is crap. Well, that is not true in my case and the regulars will let you know I certainly speak my mind. If something's good out there, like YouTubers that do the right thing honestly and try to grow their channels naturally, I call them out and say, good job, go and support them. But I also call out scammers, people that take money with fake Kickstarter programs. I also call out people that buy fake subs and views to grow their channel to steal ad revenue from creators that are working their backsides off and also deals with companies. It's also true to say that I do give companies a go and I give them the benefit of the doubt when I start using them. For example, Glow Call Me. We all remember Glow Call Me on the channel. They were providing a portable Wi-Fi device that I would use in Singapore. And as I said to all our viewers, we're going to try it in Singapore. You're going to see if it is any good or not. And if it's good, get it. And if it's crap, don't. And what we found was Glow Call Me was not just crap. They were beyond crap. In fact, it's quite criminal, the kind of product that they are selling to people at the price they're charging. So one thing you will not get on this channel is me just selling out, saying something is good when it is not. However, this company in Japan, I have found to be exceptional. So there they are on the screen now, the company we're going to talk about, they are called Secura Mobile and to make it clear I paid full price for my SIM card with Secura Mobile. I don't like the idea of saying I'm a YouTuber and getting a, a SIM card or a mobile Wi-Fi and they manipulate it so the service is better for me than what it would be for the general public. So it was paid for, it was used and the reason why I went with Secura Mobile is they do something that all the other Wi-Fi um, and mobile data companies don't do in Japan and that is they do not throttle their speed which is a big thing especially when you're a YouTuber you need speed and with Glow Call Me for example they might have provided a service but there was no speed so therefore it was unusable whereas with Secure Mobile we traveled the country for three weeks and we always had coverage we always had speed and this service was exceptional. We went to the remotest places of Japan and it worked and we went to the big cities of Japan and it also worked as well. And the other reason why I like Secure Mobile is they are operating out of Japan. 
So they're using all the equipment which is pretty much theirs within Japan, therefore they can guarantee the service. Whereas a lot of other telco companies that offer mobile Wi-Fi or SIM cards in Japan are like a third party. So they sell you the service and then they sort of like uh, jump on to another network's equipment. And so therefore they don't take priority. Again, Glow Call Me is a good example of that. Glow Call Me is a company out of Hong Kong, but they use every other telco around the planet to try give you some sort of service. So the other services I found in Japan were not as stable, secure, or high speed as what Secure Mobile was. Now, on the screen at the moment, you're seeing some samples of some live streams we did. If you were on the channel, of course, you saw them live, so you saw that we had really good coverage. But I just didn't do public live streams. At the same time, I had Discord running. I was doing stuff with social media, uh, stuff with my family as well, because we make all our calls through Messenger. Uh, I was also doing members-only live streams, plus I was uploading 4 and 5K videos and footage into the YouTube server. So I was really hammering this SIM card as best as I could and not once did it let me down. Honestly, not once did it let me down. Um, the other good thing about Secure Mobile is, unlike the other services out there, when you get the other services and you pick up your SIM, you have to register it. and You've got to go through a lengthy process of trying to set it up, setting it up in your phone and everything like that. Secure Mobile, do that all for you. It is already programmed into your mobile Wi-Fi or into your SIM card. So when you collect it, or when it's delivered to your hotel, whichever you choose, it works. You just put it in and you are connected. No forms to fill out, no settings to change. Your SIM or your portable Wi-Fi is ready to go as soon as you install it, which is a fantastic thing to do. They also send you out an envelope and in that envelope, after you finish with the service, uh, in your holiday in Japan, you stick your mobile Wi-Fi or your SIM card in the envelope. And when you go through the departures at the airport, it doesn't matter what airport you go to in Japan, there will be a mailbox at departures. You pop it in the mailbox, boom, all done. I can't speak more highly of Secure Mobile, and that is as a paying customer. And I liked them so much that when I came back here, I set up the... Um, affiliate program now with the affiliate program let's make it clear it only works if people actually use the link which is provided on this YouTube channel you don't pay any more for their service so it doesn't matter if you go to their website naturally or whether you use my link it is exactly the same so hopefully you will use the link on this particular channel but what it does do is it supports an insignificant YouTube channel because every time you use that affiliated link and get their sim card or mobile Wi-Fi then Secure Mobile is going to send me a couple of dollars, at which point I can buy a drink, which is really, really good. I don't advertise something if it doesn't work. I try not to do the wrong thing online where a lot of people do. If a city is crap, I will tell you. If it is crime-ridden, I will tell you. If something stinks, I will tell you that as well. But if something is good, I will sing its praises. And again, if you do know me, you do know already that if Mark says something positive about a company, it's got to be damn good because I will find faults in absolutely anything. I'm happy to answer any of your questions about Secure Mobile that you might have, so feel free to put it in the comment box below. Secure Mobile does not know that I am making this video. I've not passed it by them or anything. These words are from my lips and my lips only of my thoughts and my thoughts only about Secure Mobile. I do give them two thumbs up, 10 out of 10. They are the best company I have dealt with in Japan for mobile data. And I will certainly be using them every time I go back to Japan. And hopefully the next time will be for the Sapporo Snow Festival. Anyway, that is it. If you do know anybody else going to Japan as well and they are wondering about mobile data or portable Wi-Fi, please give them the link to this video and show them the affiliated link below if i do get a few people clicking on the affiliated link it does help me keep the channel going as well uh, because we don't get uh, much ad revenue and we don't get sponsorship deals because of people buying fake subs um, then therefore we do rely on things like this anyway until we meet again wherever you are in this big white wonderful world i wish you all a good morning afternoon evening or night
As I turn my microphone up, for some reason it's not set up properly. Uh, I've turned on the lights, so now I look dark for some reason. I turn on the light to look brighter. I'm looking darker. Anyway, uh, uh, that's really all I have to say. You've all been on the channel for a long period of time, all of you that will be watching this, so you know that if a product is crap, I let you know this. Uh, Secure Mobile doesn't pay me to do this thing. They've never contacted me and said, let's do an ad or a collaboration. They've never done that. Um, when I was in Japan last time, I purchased their SIM and I have tried other SIMs from other companies in Japan before, so this is the best. Uh, when I go to Sapporo Snow Festival, um, I'll be using their SIM as well. I'll be buying their SIM as well, so they're not giving me any SIM. And uh, it's a wonderful thing. Did you see the template thing? I, have, I haven't watched it yet. I'll watch it a little bit later tonight, Sammy. Now, before I do go, however... When I get my next Secura mobile SIM card, I will be in a little place called Sapporo. Why I look down there as if I was reading, I don't know, because there is nothing down there whatsoever. But I don't know, I look down there. I will be in Sapporo, he says, looking down again. <laughs> um, for the Sapporo Snow Festival, we will be using Secura uh, SIM card to be doing some live streams from the Sapporo Snow Festival, oh my god, um, but we, we're not going to be doing it on this channel, he says, hitting the microphone, not going to be on this channel at all, it is going to be on our brand new channel, we've got 63 subscribers, I think so far, from this channel, that have moved across to the other channel, um, and the live streams will be held over there, and uh, it's only going to be Japanese content on the other channel. That's all it is about. It's all positive and happy and friendly and exciting and bright and fresh and new content. It's all brand new. And the channel is called Within Japan. Within Japan? And that's where we will be. We will be at the Sapporo Snow Festival in a couple of weeks. Because uh, we're actually getting there before the festival starts. I'll be getting there in January, uh, sometime in January, and uh, you can be there with me as well. If you join the new channel, if you cannot find Within Japan in the search engine of the YouTube searchy thingy majiggy, all you gotta do is go back to the main page of the I'm All Abroad YouTube channel, which you are on now anyway, and uh, you will see a little section on the main page now that says our other channels, and uh, one of them is Within Japan. Click on Within Japan, it will take you to the new channel. When you get to the new channel, click on subscribe, click on the notification tab, and when we are in Sapporo, you will be able to join us live while using Secure Mobile. Um, anyway, that's uh, that's my little spiel to you all for tonight. Again, like uh, Secure Mobile hasn't told me to do this whatsoever. It's literally just because a few people have purchased a SIM today and I started getting emails going, ah, you've got a commission. Oh, you got a commission. Oh, you got a commission that, that like, this has been my most successful day ever on YouTube. My most successful day ever on YouTube. Even when we've had, like, big days with massive super chats and all that sort of stuff, this has been my biggest day. And if that was to happen to me more often, then this channel would not have ceased to be even though I'm on this channel now but I mean like this channel would not have been in this apartment all the time we would have been adding about a whole lot more because YouTube is a money thing it costs a lot of money to do we don't get as I say we don't really get any money from ad revenue or anything like that so we do rely on um, super chats uh, because the membership we make no money out of that you've got to earn a hundred dollars to get anything from YouTube, and we certainly don't get anywhere near that. With the secure and mobile thing, we just get money, which is great, and it costs you, and the beauty is it costs you no more. If you went to secure and mobile without our affiliated link, it would cost you the exact same price. So all it just means is by you taking the time to click on the link or share the link around or get your friends to buy it. If you go into Japan, then it gives us a few bucks and we get out and about, and even if you're not going to Japan till later in the year, you can buy now. If you've got the money in your pocket, buy now. Why wait till the end, you know, when you're about to go and go, oh my God, I'll be broke, but I've got to buy this. And oh, I buy it now for later in the year. 
you, you can tell them when you want it. You just say, I, I, I want it then. I want it in June or July or September. And then if things change, you just email them and you just say, can I change the date? Um, so, you know, if you are thinking of going later in the year and you're going, you know, we, we might use that affiliated link later in the year. Why not use it now? Because if we get some more affiliated links come in between now and when we leave for uh, Sapporo, uh, we will have uh, an opportunity to have a few extra bucks where we can do some things in Sapporo to show you. Anyway, that is it. I am now going to go on my other channel, which is called Within Japan. No doubt Sam or Sammy, he's going to run over there and be on the other channel as well because he's a massive supporter. And I'm going to tell everybody on that particular channel what I've told you now. So wherever you are in this big, wide, wonderful world, have a good morning, afternoon, evening or night. Thank you for watching this little live stream on the I'm All Abroad YouTube channel. Traveling around, taking center stage, huh?